All right, All right, guys, welcome to the U. Today we have our first ever Canadian on the show, my uncle and avid Maple Leafs fan, Brandon, a.k.a. B. Rowley. What's up? What's up? All oh, right, yeah. so first Canadian, off. I love it. Yeah. All right, so first off, elephant in the room, how does it feel to finally make it out of the first round? Oh, it was the best, man, I swear. I can't believe uh... – Honestly, I couldn't believe they actually did it. It's been so long. I was 19 years old the last time they won. Like, it's ridiculous. They blew it so many times. But they lost to Montreal 3-1. I packed up every leaf item I had in my house and just put it in a garbage bag. Like, I was done. Yeah. I uh, but that. I came back, like I always do, for the punishment and the pain. And, uh, yeah, they actually did it this year. So it was good. We had a good selly. It was, might have been a bit overboard, but whatever. Nah, not overboard for that drought, I'll tell you that. Especially in Toronto, looking forward to that. So, all right. So, to get here, some players had to step up big for you guys. Who's been your favorite player so far this year? And who's been your favorite playoff player? Mm, my favorite player this year. Uh, I don't know. I, I think all the boys played really good. Nylander was up and down. Uh, I like how Marner plays. And Marner's just nasty out there. He does everything, blocks shots, both ends. He just got nominated for the Selkie Award, so that tells you all you need to know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd have to say Marner stepped up big this year. He had a huge year, goals, penalty killing. Like, he's just taken it to another level. Uh, and in the playoffs so far, I don't know, man. It's kind of been the big boys came in. Uh, Tavares had a big game. Matthews had a big game. Um, I don't know, man. I, I think, I think, do I have a favorite for the playoffs so far? Uh, I like how Ryan O'Reilly plays. Like, I don't think I have a playoff, a favorite for the playoffs. I have some I don't like, but, uh, All right, we're, we're getting favorite there. For the playoffs. We're getting there next. And I think I know the answer. <laughs> All right. So tell us who's your least favorite player. Oh, it has to be Hall, man. I can't stand the guy. <laughs> Hall is so bad. I've been saying it for two years. Honestly, last year I was saying it. The Leafs have been plagued with terrible. One terrible D-man has cost us so many series. It's all last couple of years. Then we had uh, Jake Gardner. He was terrible. Cost us a game against Boston. Before that, we had Dion Pylon Fanuf as our captain, for God's <laughs> sake. He's terrible. Yeah. And we had Hall. Hall was single-handedly responsible for so many goals. I mean, I think they only had five goals, Tampa Bay, in the whole series without Hall on the ice. So wow. it's not like sometimes players are on the ice and they, they're just like, you know, they happen to be on the ice when goals are scored. And then there's other players that it's like a hundred percent, his decision, his, you know, screw up or whatever that costs the goal. Right. And, uh, yeah. He's been terrible, but. Uh, so you're saying he's not just getting unlucky, just being on the ice for all of them. It's like, he's. No, if you watch the plays and you watch how the goals happen, like, especially in that game five, like, oh, I can go on and on forever, man. He takes himself out of the play. He makes bad decisions. He, he He's always going for the wrong thing at the wrong time. He drops his stick. He goes for a big hit. <laughs> misses the guy totally. Airmails his stick. And they're putting the puck in the net while he's trying to pick up a stick off the ice. <laughs> Ridiculous. That was funny. How, how old is that he? other goal how? when he turned away? What? Do you know how old he is? I don't know how old he is. I mean, obviously, he's a good hockey player. He's in the NHL, but... There's yeah. a lot of problems with, like, in terms of, like, how he plays with other NHL players. But And then uh, Nylander was crazy yesterday. I don't know what he was doing. Did you guys see that one where he uh, had the clear lane to the net on the spinorama? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, I, he's 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 got to be my favorite player on the Leafs to watch, though. I love he Because he moves, he moves how, like, McDavid and, like, Nathan McKinnon move. Like, he moves definitely. Yeah, like, quickness and shifty, but. Yeah. I don't know. He can't save it. The throw ahead to save his life. So, <laughs> yeah. McKinnon's I, I out there throwing his body man. around. David's got like four hits a game. So, true, true. But he's been good. He's been clutch. He's in a little bit of a slump, but that's all good. All but right. Yeah, after that's my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> after dropping game one last series, Keith was able to make some adjustments. What adjustments do you see him making after this game or after this game one loss to the Panthers? Uh, I don't, I think he's not going to juggle the lines as much as he did. He, he did a lot of line juggling and, uh, like it was just a mess. Well, not really a mess. Like, I feel like the Leafs actually played good 
Bobrovsky made a lot of saves. So I don't think they have to change much. The goals, again, were just a couple bad mistakes, like the pinch on uh, the pinch on by McCabe. And then that, uh, whatever that delayed penalty goal, I don't know what Sa uh, Sammy was doing in net, but he was flying all over the place. All he had to do was stay square, and he would have stopped that one. But I don't think they didn't change much. I think he'll not line juggle as much. I think he'll go with more, like, set lines. And uh, they might go back to 11 and 7, but I think they'll just go more set lines, the same guys. That was that was like my big thing with the Rangers because the after game two the Devils made some adjustments and the Rangers just couldn't keep up. So I was wondering yeah. for for the for the Leafs. The Leafs, I think, like against Tampa, I think we had to make a lot of adjustments because they had a whole different game and we played terrible the first game. But last night, I think they actually played pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Like anybody could have really won that game. A couple of saves here or there. It was pretty pretty even, I'd say, regardless of the score. But. Uh, so I don't think you got to change that much for tomorrow. But I don't know. He gets crazy, so who knows? I would like to see Simmons get in the lineup, though, for a game and smash a couple dudes. That's what I would like to see. Hell yeah. <laughs> Set the tone a little bit? Yeah, maybe that's what you guys need. Austin awesome standing on his head this playoffs. Bobrovsky? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he came in against – that's what he can do, though. Like, he pretty much won the series for Florida – against Boston, and I'd say he pretty much won that game yesterday, especially in early, like, power plays, a couple early power plays, big saves. Yeah, because, I mean, there wasn't much, a diff much of a difference team-wise. It was really only, like, goalie-wise. How, how do you feel about Samsonov? I I think he's good. I think he's going to be okay. But, he like, almost every game there's one questionable goal. So you can only make up that so many times. Like, you can't overcome that every game as you get further into the playoffs. So. Yeah. I mean, if you look at every game, there's one goal that's like, okay, that shouldn't have went in. So if he can get rid of those, I think he'll be good. Because he doesn't make a lot of stops. 30 stops, hard saves, breakaways, you know, big saves. But then you see him, like, flopping around in the crease when, you know, it's six on five, but the, the puck's at the point. Like, why are you <laughs> bumping into players, you know, on, on the other team in the crease? Why are you a foot out of your crease, you know, for, for a shot that's on the outside on a, on a delayed penalty? So yeah, random stuff like that. I think if he gets rid of that, he'll be good to go, but. Yeah. So, who's that guy? Nice, nice. Yesterday, nice. The, the nice. Kid was, kid. was that his? Was that his first career NHL goal? Yeah, he played for Minnesota State all year. He just came like the third last game of the season and joined the team. I didn't think he was going to be good enough for the playoffs, but he's been pretty sick. Yeah, that's crazy. That's because uh, I was watching yesterday. I never heard of him, but. They were like his first career NHL goal. I thought they were talking playoffs or something, but then they kept saying, saying it, and I was like, "Oh, they're definitely not slipping up." That's just crazy. Yeah, he only played three games at the end of the season. Then he was out until Bunting got uh, suspended, and then he started playing again. That's it. He has like ten NHL games. That's it. That's crazy. He was. I don't know. He, and he's on the top line. Obviously, Matthews and Marner is good to play with, but he looks good out there. I would say. I didn't think he was going to be good enough, but he looks good. Yeah, I mean. Feel like you could get out there with Marner and Matthews and oh, put in a point once in a while. So definitely, but even he does little things. You notice him like keep the puck a little bit too long. Like, but he only played NCAA. Like now you're playing in Tampa Bay Lightning and snaring the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs all of a sudden. So like that stuff's gonna happen. But yeah, you haven't so. noticed him on the defensive end except for yesterday. But then he got the goal back. Yeah, but considering you know if you don't notice him in the defensive end, he's doing something right. Yeah, true. True, exactly. And he stepped up huge yesterday. All right, so yeah. Adam's got a question for you. All right, so I want to hear the the prediction for the rest of the series and, like, the rest of the playoffs. Like, who do you think's making it out of the East? Obviously, you want to see Toronto, but who do you think's making it out of the West? All right, so um, I think Toronto I, – I thought it would be a long series. Like, I didn't know – I didn't think you were going to walk all over the Panthers, but I think we'll figure it out because I do think we're better than them. Uh, so I think like Toronto and six, same, same, similar as Tampa, I think. Okay. Um, uh, but they might split the first two. I think, I, th I think they'll split the first four and then Toronto will win the next two. Um, and then I think that, uh, I don't know, man, Carolina and New Jersey, like Carolina can't score goals. So yeah, <laughs> I think the devils might pull it. my bracket on the NHL bracket talent. I'm actually killing it right now. I got three wrong. <laughs> the rest of the way I got I'm at like 398th place out of like 670,000. Oh Man. wow! <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, this I, year's this year's <laughs> crazy. Like well, I feel like I picked Florida and seven in, on the bracket, so I wow. nailed that. Wow! 
Wow, uh, that's crazy. I have, I have the Devils playing Leafs in the uh, Eastern Conference Final. Okay, I love that. I love that. And then I have, and then I have a trip booked to come see you, so we can try to get into that building for a game. That would be <laughs> sick. That would be sick. I'll be home from school by that point too. I'd love that. So we'll see what happens. Miracles can happen, right? <laughs> yeah right toronto and new jersey uh, the conference finals imagine that and then i do have, have uh i see seattle go like i see how seattle's playing i think seattle's gonna be good but i did originally have dallas and edmonton wow. in the uh in the western final and then i had i had a toronto and edmonton you know like the apocalypse has happened wow. but Armageddon is around the corner yeah, <laughs> oh like, my God. watch that series and then plan for the end of the time <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way that's gonna happen so that's yeah. what i think that's what i'd like to see yeah all right so have you been to any games at scotia bank yet playoff games playoff games yeah uh not recently like when i was younger when i when they used to be on the runs like i started working there as an ice cream guy when i was like 16 my mom got me a job there so I watched every Leaf game for, from like when I was 16 till like 2004, basically when I quit because they stopped making the playoffs. Yeah, fair <laughs> I enough. really I worked there all season to see the playoffs. So back then I used to do um, back then I used to see all the games, but now I uh, I haven't been to one in a long time. Not a playoff game, but I do work down there. Like we did the, the you know like that square outside with all the people watching. Like the company I was working with, we were doing the setup for that last year. <clears throat> and uh, I also did conversions inside. So like all last year I was doing um, changing the rink over from the Raptors to the Leafs, like building the rink every night and then changing it back to the Raptors court. So I got to see some some end of some games during the season and stuff. That's like you, you went to some Raptors games on their run, right? Yeah, well, we were there. Yeah, we were outside in Jurassic Park outside when they won morning night and a bunch of our buddies. We went to, when they won the championship. So and then we were all on the streets all night. It was crazy. Yeah, that's sick. It is good. If the Leafs win, I don't know, man. The city is going to burn down. But <laughs> yeah, I bet. So, we'll see what happens. So you sold ice cream at hockey games? I sold ice cream at Leafs games, yes. And I got the watch. Whose idea was that? I was just the ice cream guy in the States. Yeah. Oh, ice cream, get your ice cream here. <laughs> there are a lot of buyers for ice cream at a hockey game. Dude, I, I had so much money every – I was paid commission. I made so much money in high school. I'd make like two, $200 a game cash. Damn. <clears throat> Lots of people sold ice cream back then. It was, it was a good job, and I got to watch all the games for free. Yeah, that's I mean, awesome. that's even better than the money, so. <laughs> it was the best high school job you could ever have, honestly. Yeah, I bet. All right, so you think it's going to be Devils, Toronto in the Eastern Conference Finals, but who would – so say you were to make it there, who would you rather play? Would you rather play New Jersey or would you rather play the Canes? Mm, I think I'd rather play Carolina because it's a shaky goaltending situation. I have zero faith. That Freddie Anderson can win anything. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, but I mean, uh, and I think Jersey, their players are better than. Like, I think Jersey's a better team than Carolina. I think they're going to win. The only way they lose, I think, is if they're like inexperienced, start showing. That's it. Because Carolina, you know, has been around for a few years now. So they're guiding for that cup. And Brendan Moore is a G. So, you know, yeah. he's in the room slapping them all upside the head. Yeah, <laughs> true. I mean, I'd obviously like to see New Jersey win. I'm scared that Schmidt is kind of going to cool off because he's been going crazy. Yeah. Well, then I that's when Vanisek's going to be hungry, man. you got to hope Vanisek's then hungry to get back in there because you can't be feel good to, to be the starter all year and then lose your job in the playoffs. Like, I mean, it can't yeah. be good. To a you want to win for the team, but that. you definitely don't want to be the backup goalie after you're the starting goalie all year. Yeah, I, yeah, true, but he deserved it, and Schmidt stepped up huge. Schmidt's the reason dude, we won the series. Two shutties in the, in the last couple of games. What, he, he let up, like, what, three, two or three one-goal games and two shutties? Yeah. Well, they got to five that one game. I mean, but he's not going to be perfect. Yeah, exactly, exactly, especially against a good Rangers team where he was outplaying – the best, if not one of the best goaltenders in the league on the other end. That's crazy. Definitely. The Ra the Rangers did they they had to win that series in like five or six, man. They didn't have the legs to go seven. 
Like, yeah. uh, and they looked like, I don't know. Can't give up that shorty either, man. And, uh, oh, my god! game. Like, that was a sick play by Palat, though. Like, he beasted all of them and said, this is my biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 like, that was it. That was embarrassing. Like, if I was on the team, like, if you let one guy beat two of you on penalty kill shorthand and steal the puck and then make that play, ooh, yeah. I wouldn't sleep for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's brutal. At least we, at least we buried a couple more, so that one didn't matter, but. <laughs> oh, that one mattered the most, trust me. Yeah, no. You're yeah, on zero and you're on the power play. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys got any more questions to ask? Uh, I think I'm good. Oh, good? All right, you got anything else you want to say? Oh, what was I just going to say? I was going to say something. Uh... Shit, I can't remember. Uh, we'll get you next time. There was something I was going to say, but I can't remember now. All right. Well, if you think if, if you think of it, send us a video of you recording it, and we'll chop it up and make like an Instagram video out of it. All right, me and, me and my neighbor, who's also a Super Leaf fan, will put something together for you guys. There must be a bunch of jackasses when they win. <laughs> but yeah, per oh, perfect. I'd love, like, a, a, if we could get, like, a reaction video or something, that'd be crazy. I know. Okay, we'll do it, because we don't – we've had so many good reaction moments this season. Like, this playoff's only for the Leafs. Like, three OT winners. That's another thing. Like, we never win in overtime. All this stuff is new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We don't know what to do when, when we win. We're like, did we just win? <laughs> Even the next day, like the news cycle, like you wake up and you're always like, every year it's just like, you know, you got to watch all this. The Leafs failed again. The Leafs did this again. So it's just like crazy to have the different thing. Like yeah. 20 years, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's not like they didn't have any chances, man. That's crazy. 11, so right. 11 chances. Yep. So how many, how many years straight was it that you guys got? First round Elam. So it was, I think, six or seven years, but it wasn't his first round Elam. It was game seven or the COVID year, game five. But it was always like game seven or the last game. Like it was always the do or die game and we lost every time. I mean, yeah. the plus side is that we always go game seven. So it's not like we're, we don't, we never get swept out in the first round. So I didn't, I didn't realize that it was game seven, seven or eight straight game sevens. Yeah, dude, it's brutal, but oh my, I, I oh that's oh my gosh, that that is so brutal. Oh, the only thing worse than that is the Bills losing four Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're a Bills fan. No, but I just always feel bad for them because how can you make it to the Super Bowl? <laughs> you know, like, that, that's what you like to relate it to. Uh, like it could always be fan. worse. <laughs> As a lead fan, we understand. Remember, it's been like fifty six years, so. Yeah, when was the last time you guys won the cup? 1967. Yesterday was actually the 56th year anniversary. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Good time. That's the year my parents were born. There you go. I wasn't even born for another friggin', what is it, 67, 20 years after that. Damn. Damn. Well, what can you do? All right, boys. Well, thanks for having me on. Yeah. Thanks for coming. More info after tomorrow's game. I can't wait. All right. Hope hopefully they could take down the Panthers so we could get you on again after this series. Definitely. And then hopefully it's Leafs and Devils. So that'll be great. Oh, that would. Do you guys be... think they're winning tonight? Who do you guys got in tonight's game? You think the Oilers are going to do it? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Who won game one? Tonight's game one for the Oilers. Tonight's and the... game one. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going seven, and I like the Oilers. Mm, seven and the Oilers. I like it, too. I wonder uh, if the crowd can I, 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 I want to see the Oilers keep going because I just love watching that team. I yeah. love I love watching McDavid and Dreisaitl work. Dreisaitl is just a beast out there, man. This guy mm. does everything all the time. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I know. I know, and he's like, literally like a tank rolling around out there, just obliterating people, doing uh -huh. making passes, yeah. everything, hitting people. He is a tank. Even even last year's little playoff run they had, um, he he was looking like way better than McDavid. He had a broken foot and was like, right, and was like wrecking everyone. And he went and he was playing so so many games straight, going so hard on his broken foot, you couldn't even tell it was hurting him at all. And then he was yeah, carrying. Yeah. He was carrying a team that had Connor McDavid on it, doing everything. He was going, oh, yeah, I know. I love, I love playoff dry sidle even more than I love McDavid. So I agree with playoff that. Yeah, dry sidle sick, but yeah, clutch boys come up clutch. So we'll see what happens. Well, thanks for having me on, guys. Well, well yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, no problem.
Take right, it easy, good. boys. Right, go, Leafs, go. You, go <laughs> Leafs, go! Go Leafs, go! Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll cheer for him till next round. That's okay, and then we'll have the battle. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, love All you, right. buddy. You Take can, care. You can enjoy feeling like the Leafs feel there, Rangers fan. <laughs> <laughs> Later, boys. Later. Later.